All right, welcome to my channel. This is is digital, and what I do here is solve technical drug problems. I'm also provide very important information that you can make use of for you to have better performance in your technical drawing examinations. And be a technical drawing student, I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, put on notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified and help me to share my videos with, with your friends who are technical drawing students. And right now, I want to show you how you can solve this problem. Um, I was going through a technical drawing textbook or engineering drawing textbook, and I found this uh, particular question uh, in the textbook. And I was thinking that, okay, one day, WIAC may uh, set a question like this, or it may be NECO, they may set a question like this, or any examination body may set a question like this that is why i decided to uh, uh to solve this uh problem and it's uh just like what i've done before on the uh, how we can uh, make uh, how we can construct the true shape of a given uh plane figure so let me read this uh, the question here then we know what we are going to do with this but it is not something hard it's just that we need to follow the steps that we used to solve the other ones that i did on the construction of true shape of triangular lamina and or triangle uh, triangular shape now here we have that the figure below shows the top view a b c d and front view a prime b prime c prime and d prime of a quadrilateral uh, question A here says that draw the true shape of the quadrilateral. Uh, question B says measure and state the angle of inclination to the horizontal plane. Uh, Roman figure 2 through length BC. Okay, so what we just need to do is to reconstruct these, uh, uh, these shapes. And don't forget that we have the horizontal dimensions. For each of the points, horizontal dimensions for each of the points. Uh, looking at what we have here, so this is point A, this is point B, this is point B, and this is point C, or A1, A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. So on the for the horizontal distance, so from this point A, so this is distance from A to B, which is 10 millimeters, from B to D. Is 15 millimeters and from D to C is 25 millimeters that is the horizontal dimensions and for the vertical dimensions for the vertical dimensions so we have to take the we have to look at the distance of each of these points from X Y line so for the front view that we have here the distance of point a from X Y line or a1 or a prime from x y line is 25 millimeters for b prime the distance of point b prime from x y line is 5 millimeters and distance of point c prime from x y line is 10 millimeters and that of d prime from x y line is 50 millimeters then coming to the plan or coming to the uh, top view the distance of point a here from x y line is 30 millimeters distance of point b here from x y line is 15 millimeters distance of point c from x y line is 30 millimeters and that of point d from x y line is 62 millimeters so all you need to do is to make use of these dimensions to replicate these shapes but i'm going to show you how to do that so what we need to do first is to draw a horizontal line so draw horizontal line like this that is x y line so this is going to be our x y line so this is point x um, that's point x and this is y here so that is x y line so first of all we take the horizontal distances so um so if this happens to be, to be the starting point so then we have what we have 10 millimeters so next is 15 millimeters then followed by 25 millimeters so this is so what you need to do here is to draw vertical line 
on each of these points you draw a vertical line on each of these points so here we draw a vertical line here also we are going to draw a vertical line so here you draw a vertical line so and here also you draw a vertical line so then the next thing that we are going to do is that on each of this line so point a is here so let me just write a b c here so this is a so this is b so this is d so d is in the middle and this is going to be c so what vertical uh vertical distances or vertical dimension for a we have what we have 25 so you take a measurement of 25 millimeters this is 25 then for b it is 5 millimeters so this is 5 millimeters here and for d it is 50 millimeters so i'll take a measurement of 50 millimeters i need to take this up a bit so this is 50 millimeters and for c it is 10 millimeters so this is 10 millimeters here so all these points are going to be joined together so, so this is a here now and this is b and here is c and this is d so not just a so this is a prime b prime and this is d prime and this is c prime as we have in the question so we are going to join this together so if i join this together now so join this together like this so i will join this together and i will join this together and then so we join this together so this is the front view this is the front view so the next is for us to draw the top view so we take the vertical distances so uh, a from x y line a from x y line is 30 millimeters point a from x y line is 30 millimeters point b from x y line is 15 millimeters so we take a measurement of 15 millimeters so point d from x y line is 62 millimeters so i will take a measurement of 62 millimeters from x y line so this is 62 and point c from x y line is 30 millimeters so this is 30 millimeters here so i will join this together so this is a this is point a this is point b and this is point d and this is point c so all this will be joined together to form the quadrilateral so the plan of the quadrilateral okay All right, so we have replicated the shapes. So the next thing that we are going to do here is that, so for us to draw the true shape, we have to take some steps. So the first thing that we need to do here is to draw a horizontal line from A, so from A here, from A1, or A prime here. So this horizontal line touches this side, C prime d prime so at this point so this point we call it point e prime so this is e prime so from e prime we draw a vertical line down into the top view so we draw a vertical line like this so so the vertical line touches this side cd at this point e here this is point e so next thing to do is for you to draw a line so join a e together join a e together like this okay and after you have done this the next thing to do is for you to draw a line like this on each of this point that is point b c d so what you need to do is to take your cell square with your ruler so support your cell square with your ruler because the lines must be parallel to this line AE that we have drawn. So shift it to point B, shift to point B like this, and you draw. Okay, so then the next thing is you shift to point C, so you draw like this, and the next is you shift it to point D, shift to point D like this, and you draw. 
okay so you draw this line like this okay so after you have done this the next thing to do is for you to draw a perpendicular line to these lines at any distance that you like so what you need to do to draw a perpendicular line to this you need to make use of your protractor so i thought just take my protractor set it on any one of this line so make sure this line on 90 degree is exactly on any of this line so you can make use of line ae so then you have set it like this so you draw a line like this so this line is x2 sorry x1 x1 y1 so x1 y1 not, not x2 so you do it like this so the next thing to do is to take your protractor take your protractor so take distance of a prime from x y line like this so you take this distance like this and you put it on this this is line a so let me write it here so this is so a so let me call it a prime so this is b prime and this is c prime and this is d prime so let me so i use small letters to do that so this distance that you have taken from x y line to a prime here so you put it on this line a prime and you make an arc here like this okay so the next thing is you take distance b prime from x y line so take this distance like this and you put it on b prime here so you make an arc here on this line so then you take distance so here we are but here we have distance d prime from x y line from x y line so put it on this line here at this point here on d prime here small letter d prime on x1 y1 line so make an arc here so the next thing is from x y line to c prime on the front elevation take this distance and put it on c prime here you make an arc here like this so the next thing to do is to join this point together so you join this point together with a straight line like this okay all right so you join them together like this so the next thing to do is that you have to draw a perpendicular line to each of these points to do that so with your protractor so put your protractor so that 90 degree line set it here like this so i make sure the horizontal line here is on this line that you have drawn then so put a dot at this point so draw a line through this point from here so draw this line so the next thing to do is to draw this same line on each of the points so you have to take your your set square support it to your ruler and you shift to the next point on this line so bring it to this point so you draw a line and then so you bring it to this point so you draw a line through this so then you bring it down to this point here and you draw this line like this okay so i believe this is um, clear so this point on this line so i will call this point this is point b so i'll call it b b2 so this is point c2 this is a2 and this is d2 here all right so the next thing to do is that you are going to we are going to draw a line on this line that will be parallel to this line so what i mean is this so i have to make use of my cell square so so we set our cell square on this line like this and you shift it to any distance that you like on this line so any distance so i you draw this line like this so this line that we have drawn here is our x so this is line x2 y2 x2 y2 so that's what we call it so the next thing to do is that so we take our 
compass so you take your compass so put it at point a here in the top view and extend it to point small letter a prime on x1 y1 line on this x1 y1 line so from this point here you extend it to this point a prime on x1 y1 line you take this distance like this so then you follow line line a here this is line a so on at this point on x2 y2 line so put it here and you make an arc here like this make an arc here so this is point a3 so this is point a3 then from b here extend it to point b prime on x1 y1 line like this take this distance like this so bring it to point b here on x2 y2 so this is it so just follow this point b2 so just follow this line so at this point on x2 y2 line so put it here and you make an arc here like this so this is b2 so this is b2 then from put the pin part of the compass at c here on the top view and extend it to c prime here small letter c prime on x1 y1 line take this distance then follow line c here on x2 at this point on x2 y2 line make an arc here so this is c3 so actually this is b3 not b2 then from d on the top view extend the pinpoint of your compass extend your pen to point d on x1 y1 then put it on at this point on x2 y2 line and make an arc so this is d3 so all these points will be joined together so we join this point together like this so join this point together so we join this together and then so we join this together okay so this is the true shape that we're asked to get so this is true shape So that's the tree shape that we asked to obtain. So we have obtained the tree shape as I've shown it here. And then the next thing, question that we asked to answer here is to measure the angle of inclination to the horizontal plane. So this is what we call horizontal plane. This line is so we we'll call it auxiliary elevation. So we we'll call this line. This line we we'll call it auxiliary elevation. So the angle that we ask to measure is this angle here. So just make a small hack here. This is the angle that we call angle to the uh, horizontal plane. So we need to measure this angle. So what's the value of this angle? So, um, sorry. So what's the value of this angle? So as you can see here, so we read from here. So this angle is 40, uh, 46.5. So the angle, so angle to, angle to HP, angle to HP is equal to 46.5 degree. So, and then, so we're asked to measure the true length BC. True length BC, so we take the measurement here. So true length BC, this is 40, 43. So this is 43. So so BC, so or uh, so B3, C3 is equal to 43 plus or minus one so millimeter. So it's as simple as that. So this is how you can determine the true shape of this collateral. It's as simple as I've shown you. Just practice it. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. God bless you.